When it's cold outside, there is nothing that warms you up better than homemade beef stew. Big chunks of tender beef, hearty vegetables, and a rich thick broth makes this a filling meal. With some prep work, you can just set it and forget it in your crock pot. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to make some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Hit the red subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. Get some lean beef stew meat at the store so that half of the work is done for you. Trim the fat and cut it into smaller bite-sized pieces. Take two or three red potatoes and poke them for steam and microwave for four to five minutes. Give them a quick mash and save it for later to add some body to the broth. To a larger pot over medium-high heat, add one to two tablespoons of canola oil then two cloves of minced garlic. Season your meat with your preferred seasonings. I used garlic powder and fresh black pepper. Add the meat to the pot and season the other side. Allow the meat to sear and then transfer it to your eight quart crock pot. To the pan, add two cups of beef broth. Those little bits are what we want. Add all of your veggies to the crock pot. It's gonna come up pretty high on the sides and you can customize it with whatever your favorites are. Add the broth from the pan to the crock pot, then the rest of the box. Then two cups of wine, cider, or wassail, I used wassail, and give it a toss. Add in your dried rosemary, then your Italian seasoning and basil, and black pepper, and give everything a good stir. Add about one to two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, then place your lid on and set it according to when you'll need it. Nine to 10 hours on low, or seven to eight hours on high. When we came home that night, this is what we were greeted with. You could totally have it this way if you like a brothy soup. Add in those mashed potatoes to add body to the broth. Turn the heat on high if it isn't already and allow it to break down for about 10 minutes. You can also add two to three tablespoons of cornstarch to three to four tablespoons of water and stir it to make a slurry. Add it to the beef stew and allow it to thicken for 15 to 20 minutes. Now that's the stuff. If you want to add frozen veggies, this is the time. I added three quarter cup of frozen peas. Perfect. Crock-Pot beef stew is brimming with all kinds of healthy, delicious comfort food to help you cozy up on a cold night. The hardest part is the prep and the Crock-Pot does the rest so you can relax. This is a great recipe to make when you want to batch cook and then freeze to have quick meals available for your family. For the full printable recipe, head over to mrskringleskitchen.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the love with your family and friends.